Hey guys, hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This time round we're playing a little known game, uh, Resident Evil 2 or something. Some of you may have heard of it. It's been a hot minute since we've played this, huh? As I said, considering we're going to be going through uh, all of the Resident Evil games again, I figured we'd go through Resident Evil 2. Now, we're doing the Dreamcast version because it's really good. Uh, but there's a few interesting things with the Dreamcast version. Um, we have original game. We have normal, easy, and hard. Now, apparently, I have been reading about this as well. Arrange mode. Rookie, expert, and nightmare. Now, we're not going to do these yet, but we are going to do them. These modes are unique to the Dreamcast and the Windows PC version. Because uh, what a lot of people don't realize is the PC uh, version of Resident Evil 2 and 3 was very good. It was very good. Um, and the Dreamcast actually runs the PC version. Because the Dreamcast, again, not a lot of people know, is actually a Windows-based machine. It runs uh, Windows CE uh, as its operating system. Not many people know that, but there we go. So it was very, very easy at the time to port um, PC versions of games to the Dreamcast. So I need to look into these uh, a little bit. I've literally just been looking into them a tiny bit. And I couldn't find out any information on these because I've never played them. After looking into them, they are extremely rare. And Nightmare has been, from what I can sort of tell from the, the comments that I've found, uh, is kind of borderline impossible. Uh, <laughs> Expert is extremely difficult. Um, it makes the first game, the first arrange mode in the first game, uh, look like, well, my first Resident Evil playthrough. Um, so, yeah, we're going to come back to those at some point, but we are going to go for original mode right now. And we're going to go normal, because I haven't played this game for a little while, so I need to get back into it. And then once we've done normal, we're going to try nightmare uh, arranged mode, because that sounds like fun. Anyway, I'm going to be quiet, and we're going to watch this masterpiece unfold. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's special stars unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of star members Chris Redfield and Joe Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished.
Why did he bite me? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There! Buckle up. Great. Insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. I'll meet you there. Okay. What an introduction, guys. They were parted by an inescapable destiny. And you can probably hear the Dreamcast loading. This was just the beginning of the worst nightmare. I'm pretty sure they're going to have worse nightmares. Right, anyway, let's go, Claire. No time to fuck around. See you later, suckers. Oh my god, uh, guys. Okay, so, this feels really fucking weird. Uh, give me some of that good stuff. This feels really fucking weird, playing this on the Dreamcast. After playing so much Resident Evil 1. Why? Because 60 frames a second. Oh, it's so smooth and responsive. It's crazy. Um, so, on this mode, obviously... Oh, how do we get into... Uh, so, that's map. Why is map? B, is that inventory? Right, yes. So, here we go, our inventory. We, on this mode, we start with 13 bullets. If we put on easy, we would have started with an extra 120 bullets down here. Now, there is ammo and things dotted around, but we're not going to pick the ammo and things up because if we don't grab anything, our friend Brand Vickers will appear at the RPD. And if we kill him, we'll get the special key. Guys, this 60 frames a second, man. It's... It's... It's true what they say. Frame rate is so transformative. How a game feels. Every game should be 60 FPS. Alrighty. So, to the Kendo gun shop. And look how high resolution Claire looks. The character models on the Dreamcast are fantastic. 
fantastic. And we are playing this in VGA as well. So very, very high resolution. Right. Freeze. And there's our friend. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot. I'm a human. <laughs> Classic. Whoa. Sorry about Ooh. that, babe. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this oh, town? Oh, the music. Hold on. I love that generic door lock sound. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. So this guy's already a bit creepy. He's called us Babe. Then he's called us Darling. And if we talk to him again... But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. Yeah. Oh. You enjoy that, Mr. Kendo, sir. You seem really creepy, so we're going to get the fuck out of Dodge. We're going to leave him alone in his shop. Now, in the Resident Evil 2 remake, obviously this section was completely different. And... And uh, I actually really like what they did with it in, in the remake. It was very good. Hey, fellas. Yeah, not often you see a tasty piece of ass walking past. Right, well, let's go get these guys out. And, my God, after playing the PlayStation 2 version, this is so high resolution down here. It really is. Get the fuck out of the way, zombie. Come on, come on, make way for Claire. Ooh, there we go. See you later, sucker. I love this basketball court, man. Oh, this is so cool. And I go, I'm going to keep pushing the wrong buttons because I've played the hell out of Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation 1 recently. And, and the Dreamcast controller, not only is it a massive turd, and I hate it, um, the buttons are totally different as well. But I have ordered myself a brand new Dreamcast control pad um, called the uh, Fighter... Dreamcast, what's it called? DC Striker from Retro Fighter, which is a modern Dreamcast controller that's only just been released. Hey, friendos. Oh, yep, get out of it. And it kind of looks like an Xbox 360 controller, but for your Dreamcast. And I'm eagerly awaiting that. And apparently they've made tons and tons of improvements. The reviews are really good. So I can't wait to get that. Oh, looks like somebody's chowing down. Look at this motherfucker over here. Oh, that looks sore. Hey, fellas. Don't mind me. Enjoy your meal. I'm just going to get the fuck out of Dodge. Don't worry about it, guys. Now, the one thing I love about the Dreamcast version as well is the uh, VMU. Which is the memory card that slots into the control pad. Sorry, love. You're about to have a headache. Oof. Or maybe we just cured your headache. Get out of here, sir. No, thank you. I don't want what you're selling. So, yes, we have the visual memory unit, which is the Dreamcast memory card. Now, if we look down to our control pad, it tells us what gun we have selected. It tells us how much ammo we have in our gun. And, cool, yeah, it tells us our health as well, which is really freaking cool. Oh, shit, what a noob I am. And we're injured already. <laughs> well, I am an idiot. We're on caution. So to have that kind of information on your control pad is really cool. And I love it. I really love that fact. Right, see you there, fellas. I'm going to go see Brad. Hi, hey, Brad. How you doing, bud? You okay? You okay? Now, Brad kind of takes a lot of bullets. So I wanted him to do that. So we can just kick him in the head and kill him quick and easy. And uh, before I run off like a total nublet, let's actually grab the special key, shall we? Yeah, Brad will quite happily take all of your bullets if you let him. Um, we don't want him to be taking all of our bullets because we're pretty low. Because we should have collected a lot of ammo on the way here, but we didn't. Now, I think on easy, 
or maybe just on the PlayStation version of this. There's a green herb in these. Um, or is it on, on the second playthrough? It might be. Is there zombies through here? There's not zombies through here. I think that's uh, because we fought Brad Vickers. I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, here she is, the RPD. Oh. Mmm. God, it feels good to be home. Let's go inside. Oh, I'm so happy to be playing this. Oh, that music. That music. It just sends shivers down my spine. Oh, listen to it. It's kind of, it's got this dark, foreboding, sad undertone to it. Like the heroes of Raccoon City put up their last stand here. And obviously they fell one by one, but, oh, and the remake too really fills in a lot of gaps and it's glorious. Anyway, let's grab up these ink ribbons. We're not going to use them yet, but we're going to have them with us. Right, so let's go see Marvin Branner. Or Brannan. Is it Branner? Brannan? I forget. And again, in the remake, Marvin Brannan. Really. And Resident Evil 3. Well, I mean, Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake are basically the same game. Uh, it's just basically when you play the third one, it feels like you select Jill as your character. But how they they changed the, the like Marvin Brannan and stuff, I think they did a fantastic job. They really did. It was superb. Anyway, oh, I love this guy's hand actions. Watch his hand movements. It's brilliant. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left? <laughs> and Claire's. Pokes him in the eye. Who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother, Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Ten days? Oof. Chris. Jill Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? <laughs> About two months ago. There was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures. Zombie-like creatures. In a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Hmm. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. Those bastards. At the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. Are you okay? Yeah, he's fine, Claire. He's absolutely Don't fine. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But. Just go. <laughs> okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Hmm. I'm pretty sure he was not going to shoot her. Kind of strange. Yeah, that, the whole... Look, okay, so here we go. I love this game. I love this game. Okay. Um, but Resident Evil 2 Remake it did a lot of stuff better. Not everything. And it's definitely a very different game. And Resident Evil 3... Ooh, oh boy, yeah, uh, hmm. that's different as well, but in I think in a good way. The people that rag, well, the small selection of people that rag on Resident Evil 2 remake massively overblow its issues. It was a it was a freaking brilliant game, and the people that rag on Resident Evil 3, there's a lot more of them. There are some valid criticisms to Resident Evil 3 Remake. There are. It's not as good as Resident Evil 2 Remake. But it's still a fucking good game. Right. We'll use a computer. Aight. 
Let's see what we're looking at here. The doors can be unlocked by a card key. Hmm. Will you use the blue card key? Hmm. Well, all right. Let's do it. Checking up ID card. Ooh. Oh, listen to the way it echoes. It echoes. It's so chilling. Oh, the atmosphere. And uh, again, I'm going to keep saying it, guys. I'm going to keep saying it. This Dreamcast version, it's beautiful. You're not going to get it on YouTube, okay? I'm recording it in as high resolution as I can, but you just, you know, with the way when I process the video and then YouTube's going to process the video again, you, you miss out on so much resolution, but you're going to have to trust me. This game is stunning on the Dreamcast. It's like playing it on a PlayStation 1 emulator with all of the good stuff. Bells and whistles turn right up. Right, so. Also, oh, that's so quick and smooth to scroll. Oh, I like it. I like it, guys. I like it. Right, we're going to put the knife back. We're going to roll with that. We are very light on equipment and weapons. This is not fantastic, to be honest. We should also have a bow gun by now, but we do not have a bow gun. Um, the bow gun is pretty meh, to be honest with you, but, I mean, come on, it's another weapon, you know what I'm saying? So, police memorandum. Uh, the 8th, no, oh, it's American dates, isn't it? The 23rd of the, why did, that, it doesn't make sense. Why would you say that, the, the, the 8th of the 23rd, 1998, it doesn't make sense. It's the 23rd of the 8th, 1998. That makes sense. <sighs> right, anyway. This letter is just to inform everybody about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with the four-digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the eastern office. On the first floor, 2236, Raccoon City, uh, Raccoon Police li uh, Liaison Department. All right, 2236, those beautiful numbers. Right, let's get out of here, Claire. Now, uh, the desk is locked. Luckily, Claire does have a lockpick, and we have a first aid spray. We cannot use first aid sprays because they ruin our rank. We don't really give a shit about the rank, and if we can, we are... Ooh, hey, friend. Well, you're not a hunter, are you? I'll be seeing you a little bit later, my friend. Um, yes, yeah, so we don't want to use the F8 spray, but of course, we will use... You know, this isn't a rank run. Um, if we've got to blow our load, we will. Is better than dying. I love this camera angle here as well. We only get this once, unfortunately. Like, if we go back, we'll never get that camera angle again, which is really unfortunate. And we actually have injury as well, which you don't get in the first game. Ooh, dude. You right there, fella? His head is missing. Seems to have been twisted off. Why? How is it twisted off, though? What would twist his head off? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go see what this blood is. Blood. I hope this isn't Chris's blood. Oh. Hey, friend. Yeah, that's a real ugly fucker right there. Yeah. This bastard means business. And it knows where we are straight away. So we're just going to run past this guy. We're going to come back when we have some better equipment. Now, you can kill these things fairly easily with the handgun. They are not the lickers from Resident Evil 2 Remake. Oh, no, 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 no. They're not even in the same league as the new lickers. They're cool. They're fun. They're cute. There are... There are... High school sweethearts. You know. But they are not the nasty fucking lickers from the new remake. Oh no. Right, so what have we got here? Operation report. September 26th. The raccoon 
uh, police department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed during the attack. Our communication equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of, ar uh, security of armament armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombie attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building. As a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Uh, what? That's stupid. Who would attack the police station? Hmm, something funny with this irons guy. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all the ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. Hmm. Bit funny, that. To unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing, and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle, and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become first priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Hmm. David Ford. Well. September 27th, 1pm. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in that battle. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll be going to the confiscation room later on. I wonder wonder what happened to those people that were sheltered and locked in. I'm sure they're fine. Uh, additional report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as-of-yet unknown creature. Hmm. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant, their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named these creatures the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Yeah, uh, Lickers. That's what zombies turn into. Terrifying stuff, really, when you think about it. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Uh, care to make a, a speech, Claire? No, no, don't don't feel like it. That's fair enough. Been a pretty rough day so far, to be honest with you. Well, we don't have a lighter, so we can't do anything here. Now there is bullets here, I think, but I think that's on the uh, B game. So I mean, the B game. It's got to be said, the B scenarios in Resident Evil Remake were not good. Uh, yeah, they, they. I'm not gonna spoil anything about Resident Evil 2 Remake because it's a wonderful game. But I'm also not gonna suck Capcom's dick and tell you it's the best game in the world. I'm gonna give you a balanced opinion of it. It uh, is definitely could have been better, as any game could, but. Considering we're in 20, well, 2019, I think it came out last year, was it the year before? It was a very good effort. Right, let's waste these zombies. Oh, God. Don't want to get hit. Come on, knock her back. Run! Run! Firing line! Prepare to repel borders. So that's the... Yeah, it's locked. Yeah, I was trying to read that plaque. Oh, swap mags. There we go, one down, two more to go. Uh, so as you can see, in Resident Evil 1, you might have three zombies coming at you at once, something like that. But in RE2, the engine really can handle a lot more zombies. They optimized the crap out of this. 
They're all dead. Yeah, they really allowed for um, many more enemies to be on screen, which is nice. Right, we're going to eat both of these herbs. No, we're not. We're going to eat one of these herbs. Uh, that's, that's Pushing starts really going to fuck me over, I think. There we go. Um, okay, and it's not A. I guess it's X. Yeah, that brings us back up to fine. We only have one round left in our gun as well. We can take a lot of damage, apparently. Okay. I mean, I know this game's easy. Um, it is. It's an easy game. But I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Holy crap. So, what have we got here? Uh, we're on 32 minutes already, so this probably would be a good time to save it. I don't really want to save it, but that's the nature of recording, you know? Um, we don't have any film to develop just yet. Now, there should be some goodies in here, if I remember correctly. No, again, that must be the B game. I thought there was a bit of paper or something to read in here. Yep, there's the report. And the reports are a lot easier to see because the resolution is much higher. They stand out. So, Operation Report 2. Early morning. Uh, September 28th, early morning, 2.30 a.m., zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. That was the guy that ripped the uh, previous report. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewers, but there's a patch leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in this in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office we left the key behind in the western office since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and, lock the, and unlock the door. I pray this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Recorder, Elliot Howard. Thanks for the info, Elliot. And Godspeed, man. Godspeed. Right, um, let's dump the herb down for now. Ah, oh, man, you know, the box is so much better. And we can instantly uh, combine and mix herbs and stuff all on the fly from here, which is fan frickin tastic. And we've got an empty magazine and just one round chambered. And I will apologize for pushing the wrong buttons, guys, but that my muscle memory is absolutely mapped to the PS1 control pad, which as I've previously stated uh, is an absolutely superior control pad to the Dreamcast. I love the Dreamcast. It's a wonderful machine. Oh, why did I reload? Oh, no. Oh, you fucking moron. Oh, I can't believe I just reloaded this gun. Ah, why did I do that? That's because I'm talking and not thinking about what I'm doing. Well, that's okay. I can't believe I reloaded this gun. Ah, uh, yes, we're going to use the special key. Now, there is an outfit. There is one outfit that should fit you. Will you change your clothes? Yes, we're going to change our clothes. Because Jill's outfit in this game is fantastic. Leon's outfit is a bit rubbish, I think. I guess two, I think. There's an old gun here. We'll have that puppy as well. The Colt SAA. I... You have taken the Colt SAA. Look at this outfit, guys. Look. Look at this. Look. Look at how freaking cool Claire looks. Let me live written on the back. Look at this. She is a freaking weapon. Oh, my God. Love it. Anyway, we also have the Colt SAA. Now, this weapon... Is the artillery model. Alright. Used by cowboys in the Wild West. Designed for a quick draw. Yes. So this weapon is about as powerful as the handgun, I believe. I 
think it has a very, 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 very low chance of doing some kind of critical hit. But player can fire this thing really freaking fast. So we're going to hold on to that gun. We're also going to hold on to a handgun as well until we can empty it out because... Like a complete and utter nublet, I reloaded that gun. Never mind. Anyway, guys, I'm going to save it here because I've been talking. Ah, I've been boring your tits off for nearly 40 minutes already. Holy shit. Anyway, guys, uh, do I even have. And I've pushed the map again, haven't I? Yeah. I don't even have any ink ribbons on me. I've got a freaking first aid spray on me, but I don't have uh, ink ribbons. Jeez, Titan. It's almost as if you've been at work for the last 11 hours in the pissing down rain. Right, there we go. Yeah, I had to come home and record this because I've been whipping myself into a frenzy of excitement thinking about it all day. Uh, that happens when you're out in the rain digging out weeds all day, thinking about the glory of Resident Evil. Um, ooh. And we've still got our data from our last playthrough. Huh. Hmm. Probably should have just loaded that, to be honest. Oh well, no point worrying about it now. Right, let's go there. I don't think it matters, to be honest, unless you've unlocked stuff, which I don't think we did. Ha. Huh. Anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy this game with me. I'm going to enjoy this game. I know I'm going to enjoy this game. So, as always, guys, till next time.